Hi guys, you're welcome to Web Technologies. We are still on Laravel 5.4. For beginners, we'll be looking at the database setup. What about we'll be creating a database specifically for MySQL. We'll be creating a new user and uh, we'll be migrating uh, the tables and I uh, will be showing you how to actually uh, look that up in the MySQL workbench, which is uh, exclusively for the Linux environment Ubuntu. If you are using Mac, you can use uh, the SQL Pro. So I'll be moving right there to have a project structure where we have a project right uh, called new project. I'll be using this project all through this particular uh, tutorial playlist. And uh, we have the connection, default connection as my SQL, while the database is Homestead, the username Homestead, and the password secrets. This is the default uh, database and user that is actually being created by uh, the Homestead server environment. So from this uh, environment, we're going to create our own uh, database, which will be specific for this project, and we'll create a unique user as well. So I'll walk you through on how to actually achieve this. So we're going to go to the terminals where I'm going to actually change directory to my project and I'm going to actually make a Vingrat up and I'm going to eat the Vagrant box of this project right in the Vagrant box. So let me quickly change directory to Laravel project. So change directory to the main project which is a new project. So all, pro all Laravel projects will sit in the Laravel project uh, folder. From here, I'm going to issue out the Vagrant up to start up my server. So this is actually going to start up the server. All right, we have our server started up. From here, I'm going to actually move to the Vagrant box. So we're going to issue out this command Vagrant SSH to so eat the Vagrant box. We are right there in the Vagrant box. So we're going to move to the directory of this particular project, which I actually showed you in my ID. So I'm going to do uh, the chain directory to code actually sit in the code and uh, call the new project. That's fine. So from here, I'm going to actually uh, issue out uh, a command where we're going to uh, be signing in into the MySQL. And we're going to actually sign in using the Homestead uh, as the user and with a password of secrets. So I'll actually run this quickly, MySQL. Homestead. Just this way. So it's going to ask me for a password, which is secret. Right then in MySQL. Now we're going to create a user which will be uh, unique for our database. So we'll be creating a user of uh, root. So let's create another user. Let's create a user. Let's call it uh, blog user at localhost. identified I'll try to give it a password now so I'll give it the same password called blog user let's do it this way so we create a user blog user at localhost identified by blog user so the user has been created, no problem. Let's maintain the this user. So after creating this user, we're going to actually create a new database. So let's create a database called
called um blank so just gonna mimic that successful now we're going to grant all permission you know all permission on the database to this particular user called blog user so that's fine so I'm going to run this command grant all on what's the name of the database blog no grant it to um, the name of the user which is blog user Localhost. Now that's been set appropriately. Now we have a database called blog user, a uh, block rather, and we have the user uh, called blog user. So I'd like to get out of here. Let me just quickly run a sort of um exit to actually takes us out now i'm going to actually sign in with the user which is um blog user not homestead now so i sign in with that enter a password called blog user Now we're right there. So from here, I'll first of all create our first table. Uh, let's quickly create our first table. Uh, whereby we're going to make a migration. I uh, you know migration is a very handy and useful uh, command for you to create tables, edit, update, delete, and do some uh, other input and output when it comes to the schema of a database. Now I'm going to actually create our first table called PHP. Oh, let, me, let me do it this way. I have no problem with that. Let's still just maintain this since we can uh, at least sign in with uh, the blog user. Uh, let me just log out from here. Go straight down to our project structure. Uh, make some amends right there in the database. Uh, we're going to change this to because we've created a database called blog which is the env file env file is the metadata uh, of your server right there in the project structure you have the env file always in your project anytime you make a larva project you have your env file somewhere there so you can easily uh, make amends to your connection the default connection is mysql but the database now because we've created the database called blog uh, we're going to change the username which is blog user and uh, we also change the password is also blog user save that uh, right inside the migrations uh, we have some tables that have been created uh, by default I also created one during the course of uh, my tutorial the first table by default is the users table that actually contains uh, simple users uh, whereby it takes up the ID, the name, email, password of a user. And uh, we have the public function down, which actually reverses the migrations, thereby uh, making a sort of undo when the user's uh, table exists. It's going to drop this. We also have for the reset table, uh, just to reset the password. And I actually created one for the musician's data, where I actually uh, call on, uh, get the musician's. Uh, data from a database. We actually use SQLite for here, but we are actually using MySQL for this particular tutorial connection. So you can actually look at uh, the connection right there in database, uh, the config. That's a, in the config, uh, you have the database.php file where you can actually set the connections based on which type of connection you want. We have the SQLite here. We have the MySQL, I have the Postgres. 
you know, actually chose MySQL. So you change that over here when you have the default DB connection to MySQL. That's fine. So right inside uh, this particular project, that's when we're going to make a migration. So I'm going to actually go back to the terminals. So I have the Vagrant new box still in the new project directory of this particular project right on the Vagrant box. So from here, we're going to actually issue out, uh, create our own kind of migration and we're going to actually migrate it to the database. So that's what we're going to do since we've changed uh, the settings over there. So let's quickly create our migration PHP artisan. We're going to make migration. We're going to create a table. So we're going to create, um, we're going to call it, let's call it blocks instead of using block let's make add the s blocks table so create blocks table after that give it a space we call on the table we want to create call it blocks that's fine we close it out there we're on we create the, the our migration uh, the blocks table so we can easily see that in the migrations folder right there and let me do a refresh to the file tree so that we can be able to visualize the blocks table this is it over here we have the blocks table that's the blocks increment id and uh, the timestamp and so on we can easily probably add uh, a field let's add a field called um, table let's add a field called the string comment. Let's call it comments. You can easily modify this later on, but let's just make it simple. Let's add one more to it. That's okay. So from here we can migrate. So let me clear the screen so we can actually see it fresh. So we can actually migrate this table to the database. So we're going to run the PHP artisan migrate fine it's migrated the users table the password reset table the musician data one table and also it's migrated the blogs table so no problem with that that's fine uh we're cool and uh we are actually uh using this very well so right there let's now connect to the mysql which is uh, actually the, the blog and uh, we we'll get to look at if we are actually running a successful command right there. So we enter the blog user, which is uh, also blog user. So now we're going to use the blog, which is the name of the database. So I'm going to run show tables. Can you see that we have the blocks, migrations, uh, the musicians data one, the password reset, and the users table. So that's fine. That's actually working successfully. And uh, so thank you guys for hanging out with me throughout this session. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Catch me up in the next. Um, tutorial. Bye-bye for now.